told you that you can still have cheesecake on the keto diet and it still tastes good. So today we're gonna to be making keto cheesecake in the oven and I'm gonna show you how to make it in the air fryer. here and on this channel we talk about keto nutrition we got some follow along workouts and dance cardio workouts so if you're into that make sure you go ahead and subscribe and so let me show you the ingredients that you're gonna need you're gonna need a muffin pan preferably this size make it in the air fryer you're gonna need an air fryer so you're gonna need some almond flour for the crust some sort of sweetener I use a uh, swerve butter Cream cheese, any type of cream cheese work. Just make sure that it's not a low fat. Make sure it's full fat cream cheese. And if you want your cleanup process to be a little bit better, get some of these cupcake liners. You're gonna need some vanilla and some eggs. 16 ounces of cream cheese. Two eggs. Vanilla extract. Put about two teaspoons. And then you're gonna add your sweetener. I'm using Swerve. Really, the sweetener is really kind of just up to you and how sweet you like it. I don't really like mine that sweet, so I just kind of taste it and see if I need to add a little bit more. But I'm gonna start with about that much. So I wanted a little bit more sweet, so I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar in here. So now we're gonna make the crust. So the crust is made out of almond flour and butter and a little bit of sugar and, and, and cinnamon if you want. So we're gonna go ahead, this is one stick of butter melted. Just gonna add some almond flour in here until they become like crumbly. I like mine to kind of look a little crumbly almost, like it's um, turning into crumbs. I don't like it too wet. Good. This is kind of the consistency that you want. So this is gonna be the crust. You can add a little bit of sweetener to the crust as well if you want the crust to be a little bit sweet. And so make sure you line your muffin pans and it'll make your life so much easier. So we're gonna start with the almond flour mixture. So I'm just gonna Throw a spoonful each one. Okay, so now we're just gonna press it down into the pan. Doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure it's flat. All right, time for the filling. Just gonna plop it right on in there. So now the cheesecake uh, cupcakes for the oven are gonna go in. You're gonna bake them for 20 minutes on 300 degrees. I suggest you bake for about 15, 20 minutes, but make sure you check on it. Um, you want it kind of slightly brown on the top, um, but just check on it every now and then to make sure you don't burn them. All right, as you can see, my air fryer cheesecake cupcakes are ready to go into the air fryer. So just gonna place them in the air fryer. Okay, and you want to place it on 330 degrees for about 10 minutes, okay? And at 10 minutes, we're going to check on them and you see how they're doing, but they probably should be done in 10 minutes. These are the cupcakes that were in the oven. Now they're about to go in the refrigerator for about an hour or so. Okay, so these are the keto cheesecakes. So, once you get them out of the air fryer and the oven, make sure you let them sit and rest for a little bit, and then you wanna put them in the refrigerator for about three hours before you eat them. But these came out good, as you can see, it's a little bit more browner than usual, but I think that that's because of the air fryer. However, they're gonna taste great, but make sure you let them cool off completely before you eat them. Yeah. Hey guys, so the cheesecakes have 
cooled off. So this is the one that was in the air fryer. As you can see, it's a little bit uneven. That's because I don't have the cupcake pan for the air fryer. This is the one that came out of the oven. As you can see, it's a little bit more even, uh, more evenly shaped and cooked. So we're gonna see how these taste. So first I'm gonna taste the air fryer. Let's taste the air fryer one first. Mmm. It's really good. Mm. This one is a little bit softer than I would like, but it still tastes good. So next time, I think I'm gonna cook it just a little bit longer, but it still has a really good taste. The one in the oven came out a lot more, a lot more shapely, as you can see. Mm. Mm. Both of them taste really, really good. All right, guys, that is the keto cheesecake air fryer and oven recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments if you're gonna try this recipe. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.